In this video, we will review some of the options available for customizing your reports on Track It Forward. To begin, go to your Reports page and choose the type of report you want to run. From here, you can customize it for your needs. To begin, you can select the date range that you want to use for your report. You can select the manual start date of your site if you have one enabled, all time, or customize it based on the specific time period that meets your needs. You can also choose if you want to use the volunteered date, submitted date, or approved date for this filter. The next step will be choosing the fields that you want to include in your export. This allows you to select or unselect options based on your current reporting needs. This allows you to include data that's relevant to your current reporting purposes and hide fields that are not. If you want to change the way the fields look in the export, you also have the ability to drag a field and move it to a different point in the list. This will reorder it on your export. The final step will be choosing any filters that you want to use for your report. You have the ability to filter for specific volunteers if you only want to include certain group of people on your report. You can also choose to filter by the main activity or organization based on your main category on the hour log. Some organizations may see additional filter options available if they are using custom volunteer profile or hour log fields. Finally, you can decide if you want to filter by the volunteer state of the user. For example, you may want to limit the report to active volunteers only. The preview button will allow you to see a snapshot of your report prior to generating the full version. This is designed to help you visualize the data to ensure that your fields and filters are the way that you need them to be. If you need to make any adjustments, you can revisit your report parameters. Once you are done, you can run the report. This may take a couple seconds depending on the amount of data on your site. When the report is finished, the download should start automatically on your computer. If not, though, you will also see the ability to download the last report run. Certain reports will also include a summary table so that you can spot check the results and see total hours directly on the site. This is not available for all report types, however. Once you are finished, you can save the report as a template for future use or return to the report's landing page and create a new version from scratch.